everyone. So I just wanted to come on here um, to share something that I just felt a prick in my heart from the Lord. I shared a video a while back, I maybe a year ago, maybe two years ago. It was titled, What Truly Happened in the Garden of Eden. And I felt led by the Lord to take it down. Because the Bible says that we see through a glass dimly. And in all honesty, I have, I, I don't know, I don't fully understand exactly all what happened, but exactly what the Bible says. <clears throat> and I took it down because I was very presumptuous or very, um, if that's the right word. Yeah, and just very, um, a lot, making a lot of assumptions and it was right before I got, I was entering into deception by following that false prophet I told you guys about, along with other false Christians. And it was basically um, what I was sharing. I took the video down, but I know still it, a lot of people watched it. And if it's still in your heart of what I shared on there, I just want to confess to you guys that I was wrong for sharing it and assuming that these things happened in the Garden of Eden. And I want to make sure I repent of it and that I don't lead anybody astray and that I don't pervert the gospel because that's what the enemy was doing. He was perverting. He was deceiving me to pervert the gospel. And I just want to confess and repent and make sure that nobody, that I'm not deceiving anybody or that no one's still thinking that this is what happened in the Garden of Eden that have, has watched that video. Even though I took it down, I still want to confess and repent of that because the Lord just laid it on my heart suddenly. But basically, I was saying that um, what happened in the Garden of Eden was that Satan seduced Eve, and they had fornication, and that's where Cain came from, and then then Adam slept with Eve, and that's where Abel came from, and it was super fecundation, which is two children from two fathers. You guys, no. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I repent for that now. I read um, some books that were removed from the Bible. Two of them were Adam and Eve, the books of Adam and Eve that were removed. And it basically says the same thing that Genesis 1 says. She ate a fruit from a tree. The serpent that was in the garden, which was a serpent, um, deceived her. And then she deceived Adam. Or I'm, I'm sorry. He deceived Eve and then Eve took it to Adam and then Adam ate. So it's exactly what the Bible says. The enemy, what I'm, the Lord has had to teach me, and I had to learn the hard way, is the enemy will pervert scripture. He'll take scripture and pervert it. Um, that's why it says, don't let any man teach you, but the same anointing that teaches you shall, um, that you have received shall teach you all things. But the same anointing which you have received shall teach you all things. And I'm sorry for sharing that. I'm so sorry. And I just want to make sure that no one else is believing that stuff because I still fully don't understand exactly all what happened. All I know is what I've what I'm reading in the scriptures and what I'm reading from those books that were removed from the Bible. And I just want to make sure I haven't led anybody astray with believing um you know that lie that I I shared before with um what really happened what truly happened in the garden of eden <clears throat> which was being very um it was just the fact that i shared it so boldly was just pride and i repent of that now because i truly don't know anything the only thing i know is what the holy spirit you know pours into me and what when i shared that um, so-called revelation of Genesis 1, it was just the beginning of the deception of the enemy, putting, putting, um, or perverting the scriptures and then leading me to this false prophet and these false Christians that were also perverting the scriptures. The Bible says no scripture is for private interpretation. If anybody tries to, you know, show you their private interpretation of the scripture, if any man comes along and 
you know, starts perverting the scriptures or putting their own understanding or trying to explain to you their own understanding of the scriptures, you guys just, just get away from man and get into the closet. And I know I'm man and I tell you guys anything you hear, or I'm a woman, but I'm a human being, but, um, anything you hear from me, take it to the father, take it in the closet, in the secret place of what the Lord's revealed. Um, anything that I share with you guys that the, oh my goodness, sorry, you guys, it's really like anything that the Lord God reveals to me in the secret place. That's what I share with you guys. And then I ask you to go to the closet and let the Lord confirm it. Um, but anyways, yeah, if anybody comes along and tries to oh, this is what this means. Oh, and this is what really happened. You know, it's just take it all to the Lord, you guys. Um, because the enemy is big on perverting the scriptures. And I just want to come on here and I wanted to repent. I wanted to confess. I want to confess for ever sharing that, that basically false information regarding Genesis 1. And making sure that no one else that's following my channel believes that anymore. And I just want to be right and clear with God. I fear God. And that's why I'm doing this, you guys. I don't care what man thinks of me. I care about what God thinks of me. And I don't want this being held against me. Even though I removed the video, I still, I, I want to make sure that no one else still believes that. If they, you know, because they a lot of people watched it, had a thousand something views. And that in itself makes me sick. <laughs> So, um, again, I repent and I'm so sorry. And again, take everything to the Lord and just stay in the secret place. I love you guys so much. And I had to get on here. I had to share this, um, cause I don't want this being on my record, uh, with the Lord. I want my slate to be clean before him cause I fear him so much. Anyways, I love you guys.